Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the second part of the sixth lecture of statistics and probability theory. We will continue with the topic reliability of the system and we will discuss some more examples. Example number three. For the given system, assume that components are independent and find the probability that the entire system works. Here we have, if you concentrate on the diagram, we have a system with four components A, B, C, D. Component A will work with probability 0.9. Component B will work with probability 0.9, component C will work with probability 0.8 and component D will work with probability 0.8. If you concentrate on the system, the system will start from here, from A and B, then from here it is parallel. Like from A to B, is, it is in series, from till, till, till here. And from here it is in parallel. So, system will work either in this way or it can work in this way. Part number A asks us that find the probability that the entire system works together. In the given system, components A and B are in series as we know and C and D are in parallel. So, this part of the system is named as E component. Like this is the series and this is parallel. This parallel part is named as E. Now, we will find the probability that E works which will be equal to probability C or D. Like if this is a system, so it could work in this way. Or it could work in this way. So probability C or D, as you know, that or will lead us to union. Probability C, union, D. If you remember the law, addition law, uh, we know that the, if two events are defined as C and D, this would be equal to probability that C occur or D occur or both will occur. By applying addition law, we will get probability of C plus probability of D minus probability of C intersection D. As we know that the components work independently, so by applying multiplicative law here, it would be equal to probability of C plus probability of D minus probability of C into probability of D. We can write probability of C intersection D is uh, equal to probability of C into probability of D as C and D work independently. So it would be equal to probability of C 0.8 plus probability of D which is 0.8 minus probability of C into probability of D which is 0.8 into 0.8 we will get probability 0.96. This is the probability that E will work. It means that this parallel series or this parallel part will work with probability 0.96. But what we have to do? We have to find the entire system works probability. So, the, let W represents that entire system work. So, if you want the entire system to work, this part, this part and this part all together have to work together. So, it would be equal to A and B and E. That is, the system will start from A and B and this part have to work too. We have find the probability of 
working this part as 0.96 which we have represented as E. So it would be equal to probability of A and B and E. As we know and represents intersection. So it would be equal to probability of A intersection B intersection E. As it is mentioned in the question statement of the question that all the components work independently. So probability of W, the probability of system works together will be equal to probability of A into probability of W into probability of E. We know that from the diagram that probability that A will work is 0.9, probability B will work is 0.9. And probability E works is 0.96 as we have find here. So it would be equal to 0.776.776. This is the probability that entire system will work. Part number B asks us to find the probability that the component C does not work given that the entire system works. It is saying that we know that entire system works but component C is not working. Now here what we have that C is representing the component C. So probability of C means that in C is working which is equal to point. The probability that C component is working is 0.8 as defined here. We have to find the component C does not work. We represent it by C dash. We have to find the probability of C dash. C dash represents the component C does not work. It would be equal to 1 minus probability of C. Probability of C means the system will work. The uh, probability of C means the component C will work. Which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.8. The probability of C dash will be equal to 1 minus 0.8. We have to find that the probability that the component C does not work given that the entire system works. It means we have to find probability of C dash given entire system works. Entire system works represents by W. So I will write here W. We have to find this. It means that uh, we know that the entire system is working. This is the given information. We have to find that component C is not working, which is equal to we it is represented here with P. Which is equal to probability that system works but C does not work divided by the system work. Which will be equal to probability A works and B works and C does not work and B will work. As we know that all the components are independent. So by applying multiplicative law of independent event we will get probability we will get if I write it here it would be equal to probability of A into probability of B into probability of C dash as we know C uh, as we have to find that C does not work and probability of D whole divided by 
the system probability that the system works. Now this would be equal to probability of A 0.9, probability of B 0 0.9, probability of C dash is 1 minus 0.8 as we have seen earlier. Probability of D is 0.8 as explained in this diagram. You can see from here all these probabilities are mentioned here. Probability that entire system will be work we have find here. This is 0.7776. Just substituting these values we will get 0.1667 which is the probability that the component C does not work given that the entire system work.